These are my top five inspirational icons of all time. These guys have mastered the stage and the screen, but these successes only came after years and years of hardship and laboring in the gym, honing their skills with mastery and perseverance to create the total human optimization of the perfect physique. Number five is Serge Nubre. I remember reading Arnold Schwarzenegger's Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding and coming across Serge in the chest section. I think I'd never seen such a proportional, well-developed physique, so I read more about his training. And This guy calls everything you think about training and makes you question it because this guy would train for brutally long, intense training sessions and was built his entire life until his 70s when he passed away. And Arnold said himself that he had never seen a physique like this. He said Serge looked like a racehorse because his skin was so thin and you can see the veins and the muscle fibers moving underneath there, rippling. And I think to this day he has as good of a physique as Arnold Schwarzenegger and is probably the most underrated bodybuilder of all time. Number four is Sylvester Stallone. And Stallone shows you that age is just a number. This guy just keeps getting better and better. Granted, he was never a competitive bodybuilder, but he was growing up alongside Schwarzenegger and Colombo and did actually train with the greatest bodybuilders in the world at the time. And unlike a lot of other actors and entertainers in the biz, this guy keeps getting more fit, delivering better and better performances and a better and better physique his best physique coming past age 60, which is insane. It shows you the value of hard work, dedication, perseverance, and never limiting yourself. Number three is Frank Zane. Zane has the embodiment of the classic physique that's the envy of so many guys today. He masterfully squeezed every inch of potential out of his body, and he knew that adding one or two pounds of muscle in the right place could create that illusion of a powerful, massive physique. That's why he's the only competitor to win Olympia at under 200 pounds. I've read his books, I've read all his content, I think I actually have it back here. There it is. Symmetry by Frank Zane, and it's signed by Zane. And what you see is that Zane knew how to use Zen meditation and visualization and art to sculpt that physique and then keep that physique for the long haul. He's still fit today. He's still training clients and still doing amazing things. And my second biggest inspiration is the muscles from Brussels, Jean-Claude Van Damme, JCVD. I know there's a lot of haters on Van Damme out there, you know, all the wild lifestyle, all the personal life choices. But to me, you know, guys like Zane are a better mentor now that I'm mature and older. But starting out as a young kid, loving action movies, I saw this physique that was a bodybuilder type physique. I could tell it did the aesthetics, the isolation movements. He sculpted that physique for the look that he wanted, but still possessed that function through the splits, the flying kicks, the mobility, the flexibility, and the energy that comes with that building, that functional warrior, that tactical athlete. That's the look that I'm going for. It's a look similar to that of Greg Plitt, and I think that's awesome. Someone who can actually be a real life warrior and possess the bodybuilding aesthetics, and to me that's real inspiration. And the number one most inspirational physique should come as no surprise, it's the GOAT. It's the greatest of all time. It's the Austrian oak. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. How could you choose anyone else? This guy has humble Austrian beginnings to come into America with a single-minded drive and focus to train and compete. Took his life to the top. Seven Mr. Olympia titles. He then went on to conquer Hollywood, conquer politics, and build a powerful physique like we've never seen before. The way of bodybuilding and the art of physique building, it shows you that it's about quality over quantity. This guy had the mass, but he had the perfection and the polish to go with it. For that reason, he is the number one greatest bodybuilder of all time. All right, guys, there you have it, my top five most inspirational physiques. If you think I'm crazy and I left somebody out, leave a comment below and let me know. And I also want to give an honorable mention and shout out to a couple more guys. One is, of course, Steve Reeves, that golden age, symmetrical, balanced, healthy looking physique. This type of physique radiated an energy that you don't see in a lot of these mass monsters of today. But the way of the mass monsters, we gotta give a shout out to Dorian Yates. This dude was badass, the shadow. He came in with meticulous year-round dieting, and he built a bigger and leaner physique than anyone had ever seen before. So he's definitely an inspiration.